We begin tonight in Atlanta, where one of our very own is being celebrated for nearly four decades of journalistic accomplishments. We're talking about the person that normally sits in this seat at this hour, co-anchor Teresa Whitaker. WRBL's Chuck Williams and the crew of WRBL is in Atlanta at the Emory Conference Center, where Teresa is going to be inducted into the Georgia Association of Broadcasters Hall of Fame. Hannah, I almost said Teresa, but she's standing right here beside me. Teresa is going to the Georgia Association of Broadcasters Hall of Fame tonight, and we're here with Phil Scoggins and Bob Jeswald. It's a road show tonight. Teresa, what does this feel like? It's sort of surreal. Um, as I was driving here, I kept thinking in college, in our news writing class, there were two names. We either wanted to be Sally Sears, who is a reporter in the Atlanta area, or Monica Kaufman, now Monica Pearson. And the fact that I'm being inducted into the same Hall of Fame as Monica Kaufman Pearson? Oh, that is, it's, I'm, I'm so grateful. And she'll I, be the MC tonight. She'll be the MC tonight. She'll get to say my name. <laughs> Deservingly so, Phil, you have sat beside Teresa for 25 years as a co-anchor. What does it mean to you tonight to see this award for her? It's such a proud moment for her and for us as a team. We call her queen in the newsroom. She deserves to be in Georgia Association of Broadcaster Royalty. And by doing this induction tonight, she... she reaches that place that I feel like we all know that she needs to be needs to recognize for what she's done in our community, what she's done for the industry, and we thank you so much. I am, I'm just delighted to sit by her every night, both in the newsroom and on the anchor desk, because I know what's in here in her heart. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Bob, this is as close as you and I are going to get to a Hall of Fame. I know, that's right. So, it's six, so we, can I touch so, you, Teresa? May I touch you? May I touch you? Okay. What, is, what is it? I mean, you see Teresa in a sure. very different light. I do. Behind the scenes, you see it at WRBL.com. Go behind the scenes if you can only capture some moments with Teresa. She's so down to earth. It's her spontaneity. It's her ability to sing on cue. She's the life of the party in the newsroom. She really, truly is. But at the same time, she also epitomizes the seriousness it takes to be a journalist. And she's still holds it very near and dear to her heart. So does Phil and you both. And Teresa, your passion, your mentorship, and the way you hold the standard has never waved at all. It never it waned in any capacity. And because of that, you leave uh, a legacy behind, and you certainly have big shoes to fill down the road for future journalists out there. So we appreciate everything you do. Keep we, us on our toes, so to speak. There you she go. does, and they're, they're in wrap yes, right now, Bob. Yeah. So we are honored to be a part of your big night, Teresa. Yeah. Thank you so yeah. much, and you are truly an inspiration to all of us. Reporting from Atlanta at the Emory Hotel and Conference Center, I'm Chuck Williams, WRBL News 3, and tonight I'm on Teresa's side. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Chuck, for that live report. And congratulations again, Teresa Queen. She absolutely is.